Welcome to Car Talk. This is not talking about cars. This is talking inside of a car. Today's topic is about realizing how you are wired and that you can be wired differently. I have come to realize as I get older, more and more self-aware, that I'm wired a certain way. And it's probably similar to how a lot of entrepreneurs are wired. It never made sense for a long, long, long time how I thought and acted the certain way I did. But my wife and I have been talking because I'm always looking into new ventures and she is not wired as an entrepreneur. So how I think seems very foreign to her to, uh, to always think, oh, new ideas, look into this, look into this, uh, new idea, new idea this. I'll kind of jump first and then I'll figure out the details after I jump because the the act of getting going to me is is better than pining over back and forth. However, I cannot forget sometimes that's different than a lot of people. And that causes friction with her and I sometimes because I'm already busy. I'm busier than I've ever been. And then I, oh, there's a new idea. Where, where's that time gonna come from? Which is fair because I do have a lot of things on my plate. I prioritize what's important to me with my family first and then business after that. But it's undeniable that I'm already pretty busy and being really busy Time's gotta come from somewhere. There's only 24 hours in a day. Time's gotta come from somewhere. But it's it's how I'm wired, and it's not so much changing how you're wired, perhaps, but just being aware people are wired so very differently. While a lot of guys will sit on the couch at night and watch sports and look up sports on their phone and read sports analysis, I do business stuff for fun. So it only makes sense that I could turn a business into more businesses or into more profits or optimize a business because that's what's in money and business has always been enjoyable to me. And that's just how I'm wired, right or wrong. I'm not going to say that I'm right. I'm not going to say that I'm wrong, but it's definitely how I am wired, but not everybody is that way. And for the people around you in your circles, if you are like me and to go go I'm I'm not a middle gear person I am all or none type of type of guy and I'm I do two things now and that's business and family the other order of importance family first then business but that's the two things that I do and I realize not everyone's wired that way and the times that I've kind of forgotten that fact has only caused conflict and stress in in and around my my life and my circle because not everyone is wired like me and if you're listening to this and this is resonating with you about how you think remember not everyone is wired like you people are all wired differently and there are common traits i'm sure i'm sure some fancy degreed psychiatrist or psychologist could tell me exactly how people are wired in like five groups of common traits not of importance to me All I know is that I'm wired a certain way and some people are wired like me and some people, very important to me, are not wired the same way and that's not wrong. That's who they are. Who they are is no more right or no more wrong than who I am. It's just who we are. And being able to accept and appreciate and respect those differences can really make your life heck of a lot easier because most entrepreneurs don't have entrepreneur spouses. And that's a reality. I think it's no coincidence that so many ultra successful people have a really hard time holding on to a spouse because they're wired a certain way. And as my profile has elevated and I've realized I'm capable of so much more than I ever thought I was, and I'm younger than I ever thought I was, and all it does is make me more ambitious and more hungry for things. But that I refuse to let that take a serious toll on the other parts around me so it's a it's a constant thing of balance because you have to set what's important to you if business is the most important thing for you by all means go for it go all in change the world but for many people like myself my wife my children are more important to me than business is so I have to take that into account whenever I make future decisions or current decisions when I decide on something future and my wife's always been 100% supportive and she always will be but I always have to be proactive and realize that 
she's not me, I am not her. We are two members of a team that work together good at different things. And nothing wrong with that. I think that's probably the best way marriages work, really. It's the same person being married leads to crazy situations where people are the same. People are always different in marriages, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, but just be aware. Not everyone's wired like you. Not everyone's wired like someone else. You have to respect these differences and not expect someone to be like you, just like someone else can't expect you to be like them. And that is today's talk on understanding how we are wired. We are wired differently. We are not the same. We are all different. Respect our differences and how we approach things, how we execute things. Car Talk, Tyler Douthat.